What's up guys, it's Tyron2, and this video will be some example solves for 5 by 5 with using the out method. So this is the first scramble I have, and we see this, and I'm not color neutral, so this is a white bar. Also, I average around just like sub 110, so um, this is for people who, like switching from Redux to Yao or like it's not not sub one not sub 130 or sub 120 or something i don't know what i'm saying let's just get into the solves so we see this this bar and this corner piece and i see that we can do we could start by moving this corner this corner center up to make this t and then move this in the right place to do that then what i probably do is just an f here to keep this corner center here Align these three, connect them, insert. Then I see this easy outer bar for yellow. And then I rotate, insert this one, insert this one. And my first two centers are really bad, so watch someone else's example solves if you want like actual good first two centers. And to make it, and I do that to make a T, and then just finish the T. Then do these last ones. Now, Right off the bat, I see I can go like this to pair these two, and then I'll move to pairing my cross edges on M. And so we we have this one and this one, right here. Then, so I can move them to the bottom protect them. I see this one, and I can move them up. I saw this one, and I see this one right here. So I, I would do something like this, move it down, and while I was doing that, I see this one, and we move that in. <clears throat> now, I immediately see the orange center has this lightning bolt shape, and then this, and this is the good good lightning bolt case, where we can make a 2 by 3 like this, then we'd align it to the right, and then finish off our bar, and then do the green center next. So, I already knew this one was here because I just looked up there. So I'd insert that in like this to get here. And then I have this this one by two, which I can insert in to create a two by three. Then I have these two corners and this edge. So I'd probably do this. I'm gonna solve this like the last two centers case. Then here we have an M and two of these. So I can just go ahead and make my two by three using this one and ignoring this using like this as a lightning bolt and then just that made a bar so insert it then for when i was here i noticed that this was in the bottom layer so i went like this to move it out pair them up flip put, put this one in and since it's oriented on the right side i go like this to insert and first thing I see is these edges. And so I pair them. And I see this edge and this edge next. So I'd insert in a way that I can do that. I see this yellow orange and this yellow orange now. So what I can do is while I'm doing that is be looking ahead. And then I see the yellow green, which is what I'm gonna do next. Connect these two, flip this one, and then pair them this and then um i see that i can slice slip slice this one up into here which i won't do yet because what i like to do is i like to do r prime u r then l u prime l prime because i have already seen these front slots so i already know what i'm gonna do so i can just go straight into them and then i would do this edge next then i can insert this one so that it's here, so that right away I can go into slice up slice. And last two edges, no parity, just a slice, flip, slice. Then three by three stage is up to L pair. This up to L pair, sledgehammer like that. This up to L pair, and this one. Olo, PLO. 
I don't know why, but I keep getting lucky with these scare moves. So first off, I see this bar and these two corners. So what I'm either going to do is slice to make a T like that, or just make a T using a different corner. And that looks like the easier option. And I know this one's already in the bottom, so I'm going to go like this to make my T, to finish my T. Then I can do that to build this bar. And that I also coincidentally made this bar, and then we put that down. I see these two, so what I can do is something like this to make my middle bar. And then since I, we already knew this was here, insert that up. Um, then we have these two. So I can move that up, F prime, move that up, and then standard insert. And then... We have this orange, so look for the other one, and it's right here. So I'll put it up, move it down. I saw this blue, so I can pair them up. And then this one was back here, which I saw earlier. And I saw there was this white and red, and this white and red. And now I see this one, so I can go straight into these two, and by that time I have seen this one. I need that. And first, what I see here is I have these two blue lines like this. So look at the blue center, and if it doesn't have any plus centers, I will put them, and then just like make a 2x3. And for centers, I generally build 2x3s into my last bar, which, like this, this can, yeah. And then I have these two in this bar, but what I'm going to do is just make this into a square, move this bar to the left, and I if these weren't paired up already, I would pair them up and then insert them. And now free bar like that. We have a lightning bolt. It looks like we have this easy case. So this to make our two by three align to the left. And just easy last two centers, last bar algorithm. And we have this one and this one. The so slice of slice. And since the centers are aligned, you can do one move insert. Now I see this one, this one. This, these two and this one for my first two edges. So I would do that. And I saw this one now, and I'm just looking for the last yellow orange. And I, by press of elimination, I think it's this one. I'm not quite sure. And it is because you see these? And I can already plan out my yellow blue like this. Pair them up and insert. And then take these out and you see we have a slice slip slice for this blue red. I can slice insert slice so that it's easier to cycle these last three. And then I move this one over, insert like this, and no parity, so I can just do a slice slip slice. And then we have this pair this pair um this pair sorry i'm looking through my camera my look at is bad this pair and then ollo and then arp I, I swear i'm using computer generated scrambles we have another one another solved bar okay so let's see what i would look for first is the white center obviously because this is done but what i can do is solve the yellow center in a way that preserves the white, this white bar, which should be pretty easy. I can start by doing, aligning these two bars, E2, R U prime, R, R, R wide U prime R wide. And then we have this corner, this corner, and this edge. Just do that, which preserves these two also. I forgot to say I was doing that as well. And then, insert this one up. Then we already have this one. And then we could just make that one really easily. Insert. And I saw these two. These are both white red. So I'd put them together. And I see this one now. And I'd probably look for white green next. But I already see white orange. But in a solve I'd look for white green next. Which is right here. So I can do this. U2 to flip, and then that, and then 
white orange is easy just like so then first thing i see is this shape on green so i look for some other greens and i see this one and this one which i can make my two by three on the bottom like that align my two by three and then these last greens we have these two blocks for red make a two by three just like so then move those up and insert it looks like we have a lightning bolt again but we could do this and that gives us a better case but in a, an actual solve i probably wouldn't see that because i'm stupid so i'd probably do something like this to make my two by three then i'm left with this case Then this this U prime is to move this out of the bottom layer. And then once I pair these up, this is misoriented, I insert just like that. Sorry, it's kinda out of frame. Okay. Now, first if I don't see anything very good except for this and this. So I immediately slice that over, flip, then slice back while trying to look for something else, but I literally can't find anything. But I see this one, and I know these two are need to be flipped relative to each other. So I do that, and then I have this green red right there. So I can insert this green red. Uh, three UI two, then flip UI. Then I saw these two, and then this one. So I can. And I insert with the F moves to avoid rotations because um, hedge select hedge. It just doesn't seem very fast to me. So then I do this back thing, and I saw this one come up first, so I slice up, slice the yellow orange. Then what I can do is from here, I'll do a slice, insert this one like this, slice like this. So that it's like doing this, which gives a slice of slice case, and it's just going straight into that slice of slice case. And three by three stage, this pair, ah, this pair, and while I'm doing that, I can do this pair, and this. Then here we have this oil, which you can do two different ways. I prefer to do it like, no. Like this on 505, that was weird. I don't know why I did it like that. And then just GB for. Alright, thanks for watching my 505 example solves. And hope you guys learned something. And see you next time.